Digital Interactive Notebooks. What are digital interactive notebooks? These are interactive notebooks that are paperless. Students type and manipulate the content on different devices. They are done within Google Drive so everything is saved and assignments are not lost. Why use digital interactive notebooks? No more printing out tons of paper. No more glue getting everywhere. No more taking forever to cut pieces. When using Google Drive, everything is saved automatically. No more lost assignments. And students love using technology. Plus, there's more individuality. How to use digital interactive notebooks. You could use it at the beginning of a class for warm-up. At the end of the class as a ticket out the door as a review, as a group or pair collaboration activity, as part of an online blended learning station, as an assessment. For the teacher's guide, let's take you through what you're going to need. First, you will need to set up a free Google account if you don't already have one. Then you will click on the link provided to you. This link will allow you to view only. So you'll need to go to the file and from here you'll make a copy. This will make one for you that you can then edit. How to use the resource with your students. You'll want to give your students a link to your resource. You'll want to make sure the link is view only so students can't edit the original. Students will be able to make a copy and then edit their own copy. Make sure that the link you share, though, is not somewhere that can be accessed by anyone online. Using secure sites like Google Classroom, Schoology, and Edmodo are the way to go. You can get your shareable link in the top right corner where it says Share. You just click on that blue button, and here you want to make sure that it says Can View. Not can comment, not can edit, but can view. Another way you can use your resource with students is that you can do it through Google Classroom. You can assign the resource and choose either students can view file so they can make their own resource or make a copy for each student. At this time, it is January 29th, 2016, at this time, if you choose Make a Copy for Each Student, you are then able to click on that student's copy and you can see what they're doing. You can add comments to it and you can give them some pointers and suggestions. To, share, to make an assignment in Classroom, you will want to come down to the bottom right with the plus sign. You will want to create an assignment. You will want to title your assignment. And then you'll go to your Google Drive. You will attach that assignment. You can easily search for it. And here's where you can choose either students can view file or make a copy for each student. I always prefer to make a copy, but the choice is up to you. You don't want to choose can edit file because that would allow them to change your original. And then you assign. In the student's version of the classroom, they will see their assignment here, and they will then be able to open their assignment and here is where they can work on their assignment. They can move things around, add text, and make it theirs. When in presentation mode, they can then click on the tabs to take them to the different spots. Thank you for watching this how-to video on using digital interactive notebooks. 
For more information on using technology in the classroom, visit me at adventuresinistem.com.